the third meeting of the Central Delhi Junior Master Club. Well, the mission of our club, the reason why we gather here every Tuesday, um, this is the mission of our club is to provide a supportive and learning environment in which members are empowered to provide supporting and learning experience resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. I would like to call upon the President of our class, Toastmaster Prajim, on the official stage. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 493rd meeting of Central Aid Toastmaster. Before we begin, we have move on further. Let us take 30 seconds of silence for World Peace. Thank you very much. <clears throat> now, when I became the president, I was told that in every presidential address, I have to talk about something motivated. I have to, you know, give a message to the audience that somehow makes them feel energetic, somehow makes them feel more motivated, more energetic and more giving towards the stage, more giving towards CDTM. After a point of a lot of presidential addresses, I realized that there's only till one point you can motivate the audience. There's only till one point you can come up with something motivational in every speech. There's only till one point you can come on the stage and prepare for something motivational. After that, even the audience knows that the Toastmaster Pradhyam is going to come on the stage, address us, make us feel a bit more energetic and go and start the meeting. But today I have a different approach. You see, we focus on motivation so much. We focus on the fact that we need to be more productive. We need to have our life sorted. We need to be more motivated to achieve something in life. But all of this, while it may sound good and it actually is good, somewhere down there it makes us never ever accept ourselves for who we are. We're always in this constant, constant flush of changing ourselves. But do we ever, ever tell ourselves that it's okay? It's human to not be productive all the time. It's human to not feel energetic and motivated all the time. It's human to not feel up to the mark all the time. It's, it's all right. And that is what this whole motivation through the science has done to us. It makes us feel that we have to be always productive, energetic, motivated to do something to achieve a goal in life. But we always forget that if we are always doing this, do we do it because we accept ourselves or do we do it because we are always in a, in a flux of change, in a flux of trying to change ourselves or trying to be motivated or trying to be energetic? We forget that. And somewhere down there, I believe that no matter how energetic or goal oriented you become in your life, you should never, ever, ever sacrifice yourself, your unique identity, who you are, what experiences made you should never go in becoming this perfect and ideal team, which does not exist. With that being said, I would now like to call upon the guest on stage. We have guest Shifke with us. Guest Shifke, please come on stage. Please tell us who you are, what you do. I've already come to what you are. Thank you, Dostmaster. Hello, fellow Dostmaster. Uh, yes, my name is Shifke. I am here for the second time. So, uh, I came to know about Toastmasters through friends. And uh, last week I was exploring another Toastmaster club. Uh, and there I felt the number of people of the club were uh, much larger than this club. And I felt that I won't be getting much opportunity to speak. That's how I uh, returned uh, to finally join this club, hopefully, soon. <laughs> And uh, I work with Ministry of Defense and uh, looking forward uh, to the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes.
we have another guest with us. Sir, would you please come on stage? Tell us who you are, what do you do, and how did you come to about those masters? Yes. Yeah. We have guest Rakha with us. So uh, I introduced myself last time also. So I'm Rakha. I uh, I uh, I I have recently graduated from uh, NSIT and I'm working at a company and uh, I come here because to learn how to communicate properly and yeah. So um, yeah. I think it's fine. We have with us one of the guests present with us today, ma'am, towards the end. Yes. Could you please come on stage, tell us who you are, what do you do, and how did you come to work Toastmasters again? Hi, everybody. I am Shelda. I am working with Tech Mahindra and uh, at a middle level <coughs> role uh, from last 16 years. Uh, and uh, the reason for me coming here is, uh, of course, it's a reference from a lot of people, not from India, from even outside India also. And this is my personal observation that sometimes you, you know, you you come to that stage where you feel that, you know, whenever platforms you are getting into, uh, it's more like work related. And this is a kind of platform what I feel this is more like a personal grooming related. So you can definitely join a lot of, you know, a uh, lot of other programs as well. But this is, uh, you know, uh, is specifically to do with your interest. So where you, you know, you have different verticals also, you can pick up as per your own, you know, preference and recommendation and performance. So uh, that's all about it. And I mean, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't want to see that card. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guest Thank you. We have one more guest with us. Could you please come on stage, tell us who you are, what do you do, and how do you come about those masters? Hello, my name is Selika. I am currently studying uh, in BU and in third year. I got to know about this uh, from my cousin. And I came here because I need to learn how to communicate well, how to do public speaking. That's all. Uh, with that being said, without any further ado, I would like to call our Toastmasters and Toastmasters on kit with a theme aspects of public speaking, aspects of public speaking, Toastmasters on kit. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I will be all to the 493rd meeting of the Center Day Toastmasters Club. Good evening, sir. Few days ago, Professor Navya messaged me, Are you willing to take up CMOD this week? As expected, I said yes, I am. Very next day, the message was, what's the theme? I thought about it, what should be the theme? Then I realized that uh, we are here for public speaking. Why not something related to this public speaking? Though I am not expert, I am learned just like you, but still, I believe if we specially focus on certain areas, we can improve faster. I do not have caliber to tell you all the tricks, tactics, you know, but I believe we do have that caliber. If I don't know something, you certainly know. That means I have two options. Either share some seven, eight pointers to this, to that, some YouTube video pattern. Learn public speaking within 10 minutes. Or we can focus on specific role players and tell this is the thing that you are very good at. This is the thing, some working is needed. So today's program is a little bit different. Even I believe that. We might have some recommendations from me, 
in his segment because I am somehow overlapping in his role or role of some other evaluator. But I believe that I am ready to take up that challenge and rather if we can improve at greater speed. So how we will function? Some no names are mentioned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, fifteen. Fifteen more players will be here. That means fifteen performances. And with three fifteen performances, we have fifteen commendations and fifteen recommendations. Catch is that we will focus primarily on that non-verbal part. I believe that verbal part will be taken care by the respective either GE or evaluators. We will focus on non-verbal portion, just like handshake, body language, gestures, and anything which is other than verbal. It's non-verbal. So you need to be great observer. I will observe. You will also observe. I will ask any one of you to share your commendation and recommendation very specific one liner one commendation one recommendation about the fellow role player just vigil about your role as well here we all are role players not these 15 persons so are we ready for this challenge yes. yes so let's see how smart we are rather than only our code who are smart <laughs> Let's begin from this place because so much work has been done to write this thing. Let's begin our first role player, Mr. Master Arun, playing timer for the day on the stage. Please welcome. <laughs> Good evening, fellow to sponsor and the guest. Time is one of the aspects. If you don't respect it, nobody is going to listen to you. Because after a certain point of time, the audience will get distracted. So this is one of the most important aspects. And uh, there are three segments. The, the first one is uh, prepared speeches where the red flag will be shown at five minutes and the yellow one will be shown at six and then the red one will be shown at seven, seven minutes. In table topics, red one will be shown at one minute, yellow one will be shown at 1.5 and red one at two minutes. And for evaluation segment, the red one, red flag will be, uh, Green flag will be shown at two minutes, yellow will be at 2.5, and the red one at three minutes. And specifically for the auxiliary role player, uh, language evaluator, uh, it will be, it, he will be or she will be given a time of two minutes. Uh, for our counter, it is 1.5 minutes. For parliamentarian, 1.5 minutes. Listener, 1.5, and joke master, there is a time limit of two minutes. So I will be coming back uh, at the evaluation segment with my final report. Thank you. Are we ready? So, Mr. Rajiv, one commendation about the performance, if we see the non verbal part in one line. From there on. I mean, about your own, right? Yes. I mean, he, he started great. So I, I think uh, his poster was also great. I think he will take it in the Thank you. Question, Navya. Yes, sir. Recommendation or rather suggestion, not recommendation. Suggestion. Suggestion for Postmaster Arun. Um, I think he could have given red, but he didn't give it. Uh, non verbal part only. Okay. All the points were given. All the Thank you so much. We'll give you a chance later. What I observed that his hands were above that one. 
he was, they were not going down. Somehow he stick to that area. If he could have enlarged it a bit, because as a role player, we need to create that aura. We need to create that image. Let's say if he is like it, that good evening for a toast master. And today I'm playing timer for the day. Red card. Just you need to create that zone, that aura. Moving on to the next role player. Next role player is toast master. Daniel, please welcome him on the stage. <laughs> Yeah, hello, Toastmaster. Uh, I'm Daniel. Okay. My responsibility today is uh, language evaluator. And my responsibility, responsibility is to pay close attention to speakers. And I will uh, tell I mean, if there is some grammatical mistakes or things like that of that sort. I'll be quoting if some persons are telling some outstanding words. Some court, something, everything I'll be noting down. And I'll be telling in the last segment. Now, uh, thing is uh, with the word of the day. The word of the day is, is exhort. And I exhort to use the word exhort. And uh, this thumb, I exhort you, you to give a thumbs up while using that word exhort. And the idea of the day is bend over backwards. It it means make every effort to achieve something. Okay, so I uh, I'll be giving my report in the evaluation. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Verbal we have noted. The thing that uh, I noticed regarding the recommendation uh, was that the body language was little bit respected. Not just, uh, I understand that the speaker used his body language, he didn't cross it so that to show a little bit of nervousness. But the thing is that the speaker was reserved, the movements were restricted. Thank you. Less energy. Less energy. Commendation. Anyone who has not spoken earlier? Toastmaster Rithik? Commendation was that he, um, uh, the normal, normal work, right? Yes, normal work. So he was having an eye contact with the audience members. That's something uh, appreciated. And his eyes were not sticking to only one person. Looking at, at Faces and uh, at the different parts of the audience to show that who's not concentrating on someone, which shows kind of a bit no nervousness uh, to some point. To some Thank point. you so much. What I believe that is commendation part is that he used pauses. He was in no hurry. He was going step by step by step. Next floor player, parliamentarian, Toshmaster Sarov, on the stage, please. <laughs> Being fellow Toastmasters and guests. So, today's theme is aspects of public speaking. So, great public speakers are not made, are not what they are made. They are not perfect. It is a desire to enhance the public speaking skills that takes them towards perfection. Fortunately, if you are passionate about public speaking, you are the right place at Toastmasters Club. If, you, if I'm asked about one most important aspect of public speaking, I'll say it is confidence. A person who is confident appears to be more intelligent, more knowledgeable, likable than a person who is not confident. Coming on to my role, my uh, as a parliamentary, my role is to make you aware of the conduct and discipline that has been maintained throughout the meeting to ensure uh, uh, efficiency, uh, compliance, and improve the overall quality of the meeting. So throughout the meeting, everyone should keep silent unless there is a need to speak. The phone should be kept silent throughout the meeting. For online participants, the video should be turned on all the time. The member should enter exit uh, during applause. The member should not indulge in any form of eating at the meeting. No negative reference of, to caste, race, or class, uh, class should be made. Sex, politics, religion, these topics are not a taboo. 
but speakers need to be sensitive while if they choose to uh, speak about them. I hope you, uh, members would adhere to these uh, rules to ensure smooth conduct of the meeting. Uh, I will present my report at the evolution segment. Back to you. Thank you, Mr. Any uh, commendation for Mr. Saro? He's already spoken. Next chance with other soldiers. Mr. So, Sankur, would you like to add something? One commendation. Here, I would like to state that we, we don't need to be very shy, just relax. It's a suggestion so that we can incorporate in our next performance, for which we are here. One commendation I would like to give you was that the posture was so perfect. He was perfectly balanced from it. What happens is often we tend to imbalance our body posture, you know, putting more weight on one, one leg, which actually shows lack of confidence. So he shows even confidence in this uh, Thank you. And uh, suggestion part. Anyone for suggestion? I believe instead of uh, having a sheet of paper, he would have had small black cards or small sheets with the details of the parliament he was going for there, so that it would make it easier for him and the audience. Thank you so much. Great suggestion. Rather than having that the big sheet, rather than small thing that Joshmas uh, Dhanil did it, he put it there so that was not visible to the audience. Otherwise, it seems that you are reading from the paper and audience is more interested in the conversation. And what I loved from his performance was that uh, same as quoted by Sushmaster Rampur, his body language was very open. No movement. No movement at all. That was great thing. Movement was not needed from his role. Just a one minute intro introduction. Job well done. With this, call our can we call next roll Yes. Our elected president for the next term, Toastmaster Navya Nidhi Makar, on the stage. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Oh, hi, Sector. <laughs> so, uh, talking about today's theme, well, I have been a huge fan of Toastmasters Ankit evaluation, and today uh, in the meeting, his theme uh, and uh, the way he has, uh, you know, structured the meeting, structured his role, that he'll be pointing out all the uh, commendation and recommendation to per role player. So, I have personally loved it. And uh, coming back to my role, so as a listener, I will request you all to be very attentive in the meeting and uh, just listen to the speeches and uh, the introductory spe speeches and uh, reports of all the role players. So that in the evaluation segment, I come back on stage and ask you questions. So that's it. Back to Toastmaster of the Day. One commendation for Toastmaster Navya. Not for Toastmaster Navya, Toastmaster Navya's role that she performs just a minute. Anyone else? Saksham? Even guests can participate. Everyone has observation. Why not share it here? Why we are here for? Just share our feedback. We are not pointing out anyone. We are just Suggesting something, just imagine if the person is the role player, incorporate your suggestion in his performance, what will happen? He will become aware about his role, wherever he goes. So just be more observant, more suggestions, because if you give more suggestions, you will get more. So, uh, the suggestion I think would be that uh, the Toastmasters can uh, take more command of the stage, they can move around a bit more. Uh, so that it, because if you move around, you expose that you're more comfortable on the stage than you comfortable in the stage. Thank you. And one commendation? That was the suggestion, I believe. <laughs> From that side, Shashmir Bhavan, you're the speaker today. 
So why not give some suggestion? Uh, so I, I have to say recommendation. Recommendation. Recommendation has already been given. Thank you so much. So confident president from my side. What I felt that there were two stages of her introduction. In one part, vocal variety was different. Other part, vocal variety was different. So job welding, these things come only when you have stage outing quite often. And this thing was very much visible. Two layers of the introduction part. And one very intelligent thing that she did, she praised the host. When you praise the host, you get extra marks from the audience as well. <laughs> Thank you. So who is next? Toastmaster and most. You don't need to be shy, just relax. Your body language, rather our body language is like that. I am going on stage, I will be evaluated. It is not like that. It's a feedback, my dear friend. Why is there no applause? My name is Anmol, and I'll be playing the language by the Yeah. <laughs> I was about to complete my Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was one of my first ever speeches at Toastmaster when I officially became a member and this was the first starting move. <laughs> my name is Nimbol, awkward long pause. I, I'll be playing the language value the awkward long pause, um, ah, uh, and so on. See, we naturally use this sort of ahs and ums to sort of well, hide our nervousness, or I would say, when we forget our scripts and so on. And well, at that time, I didn't know the role of an R counter, but what the R counter was. So all of a sudden, in, a, in the evaluation segment, I just get a mole. And Toastmaster and Moon had three awkward long pauses. He had he said R uh, three times. He said the word um almost like eighteen times for no reason. And that to me felt that that sort of unnecessary, right? But here I am ironically playing the R counter for today. So I'll be noting down your R's and arms. And you these are your filler sounds, but I'll also be noting down your um here's one here's one arm for me. Thank you so much. Um <laughs> I'll also be noting down your filler words like well as the likes of like, well, and so and so on. I'll also be noting down your awkward pauses whenever it's possible or pauses, long pauses for that matter. Thank you so much. I'll present my report reporting the evaluation segment. Back to Mr. C. Modapati. Toastmaster, I have one suggestion for Toastmaster and Mohan's I would like to comment him. Okay, that, that's a good thing. We have two options in the stage as well, in our presentation as well. We always have two options. We can talk about problem, we can talk about solution. Good thing is that Toastmaster Raghav has chosen C part, rather being most of us are interested in the R part. I want to suggest this. This thing was not good. Yeah, go on with C. The thing I want to comment is that he was really comfortable and confident on the stage. On the stage. And he made an interaction in the audience, which was really good. Thank you. Thank you so much for so kind words for Toastmaster and more good. One recommendation. Anyone would like to give? Toastmaster Puja. We will have to speak since we are participating in this segment. That's the role of <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really don't have any recommendations for those master and more, but if I have to say something, I just feel that uh, even when you look very confident, but there is something I feel uh, missing, like uh, in terms of the voice, 
I feel he can be a little more confident. He doesn't come across as a very confident person. Uh, the body language is confident, but when he's talking, it's not that confident. I'm not being able to explain myself here, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's the only recommendation I can think of. Thank you so much. One of your suggestions. We should try to, uh, you know, the eye contact should be proper. Uh, most of the time, he was looking down. So, this gesture don't go or leave by the uh, audience very well. So, thank you so much. Can I take this full commentation? Just one Commendation, yes, one because we have already taken two recommendations. So one commendation, two just balance. one commendation. Okay. Yeah, please go. The best part that I liked in Anmol's performance was he started with something that many of the speakers call as eye catching. Eye catching. Yes, yes. An act which grabs a world. And that's a commendable thing uh, for Anmol. And I applaud him for that. Convey naturally to him, and that's really good. No. And that was very much visible from his performance yes. that he was preparing for some other role. When it was highlighted, no, my dear friend, it's not that role, it's this one. But he didn't fumble, he started that role again. Obviously, that script was not prepared. So, as a speaker, we need to be impromptu all the time. If we can learn from these kind of things, then only we can grow. It's time to a little light hearted and invite a joke master for the day. Joke master today. Thank you. 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 So, guys, today, uh, my role is a uh, joke master, and uh, my part of, part of my role is to make you guys laugh. We will not start in this framework, so let me start. I will start by how I got this role to, uh, today. You know, day before yesterday, TM Nabea messaged me, can you please be the joke master for the next meeting? And I was like, what? Because I am a person who don't, know, who don't even know how to crack a joke. So I told this uh, to TM Nabea. TM Nabea said, Hey, that's a challenge. <laughs> that's the challenge. And I said, okay, let me face it. So today I'm facing this challenge with, uh, like TM Ankit is facing the challenge. So today I called uh, two, uh, two, two, three people to know, so because they have already acted as a joke master. To know uh, how to get uh, to get some tips, first person I called was T M Anmol. T M Anmol said that, "Hey, bro, why why are you even calling me?" He said that uh, he, he don't have any tips for you. Contact another person. Contact T M Arvind. He recommended me T M Arvind and T M Pradyum, who was my next uh, callers. Um. Uh, T.M. Anmol said that, okay, you don't have a joke, give me your story. Do you have any story? I said, no story. I don't have any story. I don't know what to speak there. I was frightened. T.M. Anmol said, this is your story. So T.M. Anmol told me how to represent my story. I contact T.M. Pradyum. T.M. Pradyum said that it's okay. You can do it. Don't be scared. I will I will give you some tips. So, what do you guys think about what would be his tips? Anyone? His tip was uh, to watch stand-up comedies. <laughs> That's it, guys. Back to the team award. Rather than anyone else, I will ask Osmata Rida himself one commendation and one recommendation from your own role. Because no matter how we see that, how Kanao considers me or, or how I consider Rizik or anyone else, 
we know where we are lacking is just like i know sometimes i am very fast sometimes i travel on this stage unnecessary <coughs> so many things are there so what one commendation one recommendation sushma sir it is stage is again yours good <laughs> one <laughs> okay so one recommendation would be um, this us and ums i've uh, i've repeated words and taken many us and ums due to my nervousness and uh, one uh, commendation i don't know short the my studio was short
Thank you. <laughs> the thing is, in our generation, with I have problem in saying thank you. And WhatsApp, there is this. So WhatsApp people. And then there is a thumbs up now. There's no need to say a thank you also. So in life, I had many examples. Uh, let's say Pradyuma, he, he's a smaller than you, obviously. <laughs> and he's the, the best thing he did is give us a example that we can also do it as we, speaking wise. Then I've, I've opened to someone, his friend, he also smaller than me. He argued in Supreme Court himself. And which is a very big achievement for a 24 year old person. And he might have enrolled a year back and he was arguing there. And third person was, he's my brother. So he has played with Ronaldinho. So I have played with him. I have played in B division football league. So that's also I think I can do. I know I won't be able to get to that level. Thanks. You are progressive. Kind of a downstairs. Recently, I'm pausing a lot uh, when I did it. It was good. So, in my last speech, people didn't like my hymn. <laughs> so, in the next row, I tried to check their English. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not very good. <laughs> so I will check again. Super cabbie, tragedistic, extra doses. Nay, so when I bore me, so I have to make a dialogue. Uh, Ravan Nekata. Okay. 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 So, I have to say that I have to say that I have to say that I to be the first guy. So, <laughs> 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 Uh, I am a little bit scared of my career as a lawyer, as a little bit problem of speaking is there, I speak less, sometimes people also say, uh, you don't speak, how will you become a lawyer, so I had a dialogue for them, I'm a speaker, I'm a, sorry, I'm a lawyer, I charge for speaking. <laughs> And I'm paying here to see. <laughs> no, but I was, I'm always a little bit scared about my future, but a thing which I like is most people can't read. It. Study for five years. Law. I have been study two years at most. Uh, that to a different course. Uh, so I became a psycho lawyer. I got a stupid idea. Maybe 
about now that uh, it was from a book thousand true fans. Like you, you just need thousand customers and pay they pay you for repeat. So, uh, for example, uh, if I have a customer, he pays me one month for like say two thousand rupees. And he's a lifetime. It's like a subscription business type, which is not there in lawyer. I don't know why. That was a good. I don't know if it will work or not. Their life. This pausing. I know that. But it's like a life experience that we all have a different life experience, so we get a different outlook of life. Right? When I view my childhood, there's a theory on psychology. Everything your problem is because of your childhood. That's one theory, which is the major one. So when I go back to childhood, I think I can defigure it and then I can change her work. Good luck, Dr. Sushkar. Conflicting. His topics and I, mine are always conflicting, so I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Commendations for Toastmaster Kalam. Anyone would like to give two commendations? Yeah, just one second. The best part that I like regarding this is he, he, he spoke <laughs> his mind. He spoke his he mind. Spoke That's his mind. the best recipe for yes, best recipe. Second commendation. Pooja. He adds a lot of humor to whatever he talks, especially when he said that uh, uh, I'm a lawyer and I charge when I speak, and, but here I come and uh, stay here to speak. So that was. Very humorous and it's actually more humorous statement, Thank which is so not much. easy. And one suggestion, Shoshmasan Nabiya, or anyone else who has not yet given. Shoshmasan Dhani, I suggest to you to escort. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this commitment. <laughs> <laughs> I have just realized that he is our language well <laughs> So, so Mr. now your only mistake was that we didn't use it. <laughs> it's time to call speaker number two. But before that, please invite our evaluated number two, Toastmaster Puja on the stage. A very good evening, everyone. Special good evening to Toastmaster Bhavanand. Today I'll be evaluating this speech. And uh, Toastmaster Bhavanand is going to give his level one, project one speech under the pathway presentation mastery. And his speech title is What is Valuable for You? The purpose of the speech is uh, for the member to demonstrate their ability to deliver an effective speech. Um, I wish Toastmaster Bhavanan all the very best. He's been an amazing speaker and he's been one of our old member. And we look forward. So all the best once again. Over to Simon. Thank you. Toastmaster Bhavanan is ready. Please welcome Toastmaster Bhavanan. What is valuable for you? What is valuable for you, Toastmaster Bhavanan? Okay. Ankit and PM Puja. Good evening, Toastmasters and guests. What is valuable for you? I would like I, I would uh, ask to you, PM Nabya, what is valuable for you? Okay. 
PM Arun, what is valuable for you? To understand the purpose of my life. Okay. And uh, I want to ask from virtual guest, Tech Master can help me. Which, uh, what is valuable for you? Anyone from virtual guest, virtual Toastmaster? Yes. Um, what is valu valuable to me? Um, I would say my family. Um, Memories. Okay. So family, purpose of life, and uh, I think you can add many things. Definitely, all these are valuable. Knowledge, money, all these things are valuable. But among all these, time is most valuable thing. So what is time? Time is the journey between life and death. You can be delayed, but time will not delay. Each second of day that is counted and it has infinite worth and that is told by famous personality, founding father of USA, Benjamin Franklin. So, dear Toastmasters and guests, you must have heard time and tide. Don't wait for anything. So, should we not watch how much time you invest on uh, different things in day-to-day -day life? Yes or no? So again, I want uh, some volunteer. I want to ask you, PM Anmol, how much time you invest on mobile phone unknowingly and after that you think that is what less you wasted your time yes please i would say uh, but i would say i can't calculate okay great great answer now i would uh, like to ask you PM Rajiv. No, no, another question. Another question. <laughs> have you, have you, have you realized how much time you invest on sleeping? And after that, you think, oh, I, I slept uh, so much, so that was a wasted of time. Yes, please. Have you realized that? Yes, I do. So, especially on weekends. Uh, I, I try to sleep a lot for the last uh, two months. That's probably. So I will say I've not wasted any time for the last two months. But whenever I get an opportunity, I try to sleep. Earlier, when the work, work from home culture was there, I used to take nap in the afternoon. Without my boss, I would take nap. I would be relaxing my time, napping so that I can go to the gym in the evening. So probably I was trying to you know, balance it out. Okay, great answer. So now I uh, like to ask you from guest, guest, anyone can volunteer from guest? Guest, please raise your hand. Okay. So have you realized that how much time you invest in gossiping? <laughs> have you realized that? Due to COVID, I don't think I gossip that much, but messaging and social media you was certainly there. <clears throat> okay, okay. So I exhort you think. If you have command over these things, and many things can be added here. So if you have command over mobile phone, you don't invest little bit. If you have command over sleeping, six hours means six hours. If you have command over gossiping, if 
uh, you have to learn. If uh, I will talk to friends, so that would have quality talk, not wasting of time. So if uh, you are having command over these things, then think what you can be and how much time you can utilize. So definitely you should have time management. Without time management, you can't do. So first thing I would say, you should have long-term and short-term goals. Because if you are not having any goals, then you can't utilize your time properly. Second thing, second thing I would say, each day you are having so many work. So prioritize your work. If you would not prioritize your work, then definitely uh, you can't execute your work effectively. And uh, next thing I would say, stop procrastination. And, and whatever you can do today, don't leave for tomorrow. So definitely, these are a few time management that we should do and think if we can apply these things, then what will happen? So I would say, if you can prioritize your work, then definitely you can execute your work properly. So it would reduce your stress and uh, you can meet your deadline and you are having much time to enjoy personal life, family life and many things. So and last but not least, I exhort you, time management is also a soft skill and that should have of your top priority. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Bhavanan. So one commendation, one recommendation for Dr. Bhavanan. Anyone? Dr. Arun. Try to, you know, restrict yourself within 7.30. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> and Dr. Navya, one suggestion. That was a suggestion? Yeah. One commendation then. What I believe from my side is that as a role player, our job starts not from here. Our job starts when our name is about to be called from there. So we need to be very much energetic from, from there to here because the audience is watching. And one very important thing that I love was Master Bhavan speech all the time. I was watching one video regarding public speaking, and one important point was that. Listen what you are saying, then move further. Toastmaster Bhavan is rightly doing all these things. So, Toastmaster Rajiv was, would like to add anything. Yes, he was, so he was raising. To, uh, I just want to go for a question that uh, seems to be carried a message that we go with the time and time waste for us. So, this is quite a good thing. Message that we have communicated today to all the others for the process and getting here. So, I think, great to listen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's time to call our speaker number three, Toastmaster Ankur Goel. Sorry, Ankur Obray. <coughs> but before that, call our evaluator number three, Mr. Digant Mr. who is ready to take the stage. Thanks, Mr. Toastmaster. So, here we are going to listen to a speech from our speaker. The project is understanding the vocal variety. Time allotted is five to seven minutes. And the purpose of this project is for the member to practice using vocal variety to enhance their speech. So I will be noting down my observations and will be back when called upon by Chandra Over to you. Please welcome Toastmaster Ankur Oberai, 
Start singing again. Go on. Paradise has come. Paradise has come. Now he will spread his net. Now he will spread his net. Then he will put some bread. Then he will put some bread. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Parrot hunter looks at them in awe. He scratches his head and wonders how come these parrots have become so intelligent. Disappointed, he leaves. And the parrots are celebrating now. They are hugging each other, giving each other high fives with their little claws. But the poor parrot hunter he narrates this problem to the wisest person he knows, his wife. <laughs> <laughs> so his wife tells him, dear innocent hubby, you go, you go do your thing. Let the parrot do what they are doing. The parrot hunter is now back to the jungle. And the parrot hunters are, and the parrot are still singing. Don't get caught, baby, don't get caught. But this time, the parrot hunter has spread his neck. And the parrot, while singing, don't get caught, baby, don't get caught, they get caught in the trap. And while in the trap, they're still singing, don't get caught, baby, don't get caught. <laughs> Dear friends, don't we behave like this parrot when we talk big words or message, heavy, heavy messages filled with wisdom, positivity, motivation? Let's take a lesson from this man. Instead of parroting wise words or forwarding wise words, let's inculcate them more so that the world is a better, kinder, and a happier place. So there are two kinds of people in the world. First, who back their words with deeds, and two, those who are parrot. Which one are you? I don't have any C or R photos Do anyone has any C or R? That was an impeccable performance. Good job. <laughs> Going to have vote now, or let us all of vote together. We have vote right now. Okay. So we have three contenders Toastmaster Kana, Toastmaster Bhavanan, and Toastmaster Ankur. We can choose one of them as best speaker. This bucket is being forwarded whenever you will receive it. Put your vote in it, and this will be circulated. It comes back. We have 30 seconds for the same. Please do vote. If you have not trusted your vote, you will not be allowed to leave this room. Has everyone voted? Even the guests can vote? Please raise your hand if you have voted. Okay, a little bit busy, but please do vote. It's time to call our next role player on the stage. Who is our next role player? Anyone has seen agenda? Anyone has seen agenda? Who is our next role player? I think Sushmat Raji, so you are right. Please welcome Sushmat Raji. So don't worry, I don't have this table. So I have names of the guests which I will be calling on later stage. So first, you know, how many of you in your school days when your teacher asked a question and you were hiding and you were not even looking at the teacher's eye, thinking that he might call you next to speak. How many of you have felt I will get? Yeah, I, I will I felt so today I will check your impromptu skills. That is also how you react to a situation, to a situation when called upon on the stage. So 
Today, I have a couple of questions with me, which is from 1 to 18, and I'm going to ask you to choose one question from it. And the time which you will get is one minute, I mean two minutes, that one minute will be shown the green card, 1.5 yellow, and then two red. So today I'm going to check your impromptu skills. So I will I will ask the guest and also fellow toast master to you know exhort. I will strongly exhort. Otherwise, I will bend bend over backwards to ensure that you come back. <laughs> All right. So so let's start in the interest of time. I have total 22 minutes, but let me uh, so we'll come on the stage first. If nobody is going to raise hand, of course I'm going to point. Out. So let me ask which Toastmaster, start with Toastmaster Santosia. So those who don't know, let me please join our club. So the newest member. So Toastmaster Santos, out of what I have 18 questions. Not questions, but 18. Subtopic point. Out of that, you choose one. So from one to eighteen, you can just choose one, and I will tell you which one fall under your, you know. Yeah. So no, no, I, I you have to just think which which number. One, two, three, four, whatever you feel like. There's something among this. I five. So so for you, the topic is beach or a mountain vacation, and why. Postmaster Santos, please say hello. I think I will go for uh, mountain vacation uh, because uh, I I am fascinated about mountains since my, uh, since my childhood. Uh, I I have always that mountains should be explored. Beauty should be looked upon. Uh, and we should spend some time in mountainous region. Meet with people. Enjoy the time. Uh, spending time with Cindy on the vacations, vacations are always refreshing and We feel charged. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now we all know that Toastmaster Santos loves mountain, and like me, I love beaches for <laughs> sure at any given point of time. Uh, so now it's time for guests. So I will call upon guest Steve Kate. So out of 1 to 18, I'll leave 5 for okay. <laughs> <laughs> A picture is worth a thousand words. So let me put it this way. You can see whatever that comes to your mind. Don't think twice. Whatever comes to mind, just go with the flow. So, postmaster, sorry, uh, sorry, get it, please. Take guess, take guess. A picture is worth a thousand words. Take yours. Hello, fellow postmasters, India again. A picture says, more than a thousand words. So let me start with taking an uh, example. Let's take Mona Lisa. You all must have seen it, right? Uh, Mona Lisa painting? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Cool. Uh, so, so Mona Lisa painting, painting, experts have been doubtful whether it's a male or whether it's a female, it's the person. No, these are real. Uh, whether is she 
smiling or is she being doubtful or is she being angry so different people have different perceptions by looking at mona lisa same goes for every painting or beat color also you must have also seen uh, different facebook posts last year where uh, they are showing some piece of cloth and asking you what's the color right so people are having different opinion of it as well so yeah a picture can have thousand different meanings and people can have different perception and can relate it with different words thank you so those of you who don't know where the mona lisa painting is it's in la lu in paris so probably somebody traveling maybe you might want to check it out so now i will call upon guest lisa vit somebody So, so, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. So, five and seven are gone. So, out of one, twenty-two, twenty-one gone. Six. No such thing. No such thing as a free lunch. Toastmaster, Lisa. I'm going to get Lisa. Stay here. Anything that comes to your mind, please do it. No such thing as a free. Okay. Whenever we have big, uh, whenever we talk with anyone, and whenever we are uh, uh, stating something, then uh, always we think that uh, it might go in our favor or his favor. But uh, one thing we must remember that there is no free run. That whenever we are doing something, or whenever someone is favoring them, he or he uh, or she can have it. or his own uh, 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 his own thing going on his mind like we see in uh, in uh, different countries when we see international relations it is not like one country is, uh, is seeking his interest it when we are we uh, see in international relations that that all the countries are seeking their uh, their interest and this is because Uh, and that that is why it is said that there, that there is no feeling when we are giving something then we are expecting some bigger thing in return of it so um, from that we can say that there is no feeling thank you very much <laughs> so now we all know that uh, you know if you give something you want something back in return so that means that no feeling so that says that we as an organization host some kind of conference so that's the idea Degree three, like you know, three hundred and ninety. But sorry, sorry. Okay, so I'll call upon one more guest. In fact, today we have good number of guests, eight. So I'll call upon Kanika, and I will not choose a topic for her. I will, I will choose a topic for her, which is think less and live more. Probably you can correlate after seeing her what. Guest Kanika. So we now you can see why I. <laughs> so I can relate this uh, with reference to my brother. If anything happens or something, my mother says to me, and she says the same thing to my brother. I think it. I overthinking, and I think what will she say, and what will she do. and i get uh, very upset sometimes and i refrain from doing that thing but my brother is very chill he says mummy ne keh diya to kya ho gaya so he do things and he encourage me to do things he say uh, it's nothing do it so i am that of a person i who think uh, much more and exaggerate things and uh, with unlike with it should be opposite you should not think or exaggerate many things uh, whenever i go to a new place or try uh, new thing Uh, I think very much. Like today, I uh, went for a new fitness studio. I explored some things where I have to drive and go there for ten minutes away. So I was very scared. How will I go there? How will I park the car and everything? But when I went on the uh, went there, it was very smooth. I found the place. I parked. But 
it's uh, the ultimate thing is you think a lot more when you have uh, you when you don't need to think a lot. So then, uh, whenever you mm -hmm. think or see, you should uh, do it with the flow. You should do it with the flow, not think much. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now I'd like to call upon guests who are to, to, to present online. Uh, Toastmaster is there. I'm sorry. Toastmaster. Toastmaster is there. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. So Toastmaster, he said, so I, so one out of, I have 18 questions out of that five, six, seven, and 18 are gone. So you choose which one you want to go for. Sorry, uh, what, uh, what are the numbers? Any number, one to 18, except five, six, and seven, and probably 16 as well. I'll take three. Three. So the best memory in your life. That your topic is the best memory in your life. Toastmaster today. So the best memory of my life. Well, that's an interesting topic. So the best memory in my life, uh, you know, it still continues. Uh, at the end of the day, I may have uh, told this in the earlier week, but at the end of the day, um, me and my whole family sit with our hand over dinner together. Discussing our whole day and uh, what uh, discussing our future, we at that moment of time we all like it. So that uh, I would uh, say that's the best memory. You know what part? Uh, what is the best of that memory? That uh, we as a family are uh, united together, uh, talking together, reading together. You know, they say uh, the family that eats together, stays together. So I would say that would be my, uh, would be the best memory. Back to uh, T.M. Rajiv. Thank you, Postmaster. Postmaster, I taught the meaning of the family that also eat together, live together, and that's the best memories that he has created with the family. So I guess, thank you, thank you, Postmaster. So probably I'll invite somebody from the state. Somebody who has been the newly, newly, I know you want to come on the stage, but somebody who has been the newly Toastmaster of the club, Toastmaster Kavya, please. So, Toastmaster Kavya, so one out of 18, 18 is gone. Of course, six, seven, and three. Yeah. Yeah. Burning bridges. So whatever comes to your mind, with the burning bridges. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Those monsters are there. Take your. I don't have any, have any idea about this topic. <laughs> but I will still try to see anything that comes to my mind. So. By listening to morning breezes, what comes in my mind is uh, you not know, morning breezes, burning bridges. Burning bridges. So the meaning is that uh, let's say if you were walking, so you don't leave the organization on a bad note. Either in the office or the work or in school, don't leave any place you know, on a bad note. So always leave on a good note. So don't burn your bridges so that you cannot go back. So the meaning is that. Okay. So I agree with that. Uh, we don't need to leave anything on a bad point. We always, uh, you know, we have seen that we have to stay positive and everything, but uh, leaving anything at the negative edge uh, will not motivate us to complete that task completely. And it will give a negative impact to others as well as ourselves to complete the task. And uh, if we leave something at the negative edge, uh, when next time we come to that position again to continue that task, it becomes hard and this loop continues. Okay, so what I think is at the moment we need to be calm and think that uh, that this needs to be done and this needs to be done uh, right away and we have to make priorities and uh, we have to bend. Uh, 
bend over backwards to complete that task at the good end. And we, we have to be uh, we have to be aware about it. So with this, I would like to close upon. I'm extremely sorry our president has warned me not once <laughs> but twice. And my role was also played by Toastmaster Ankit and Toastmaster Bhavan Saraswati. What will be my role in the like, you know, when I play at the Thank you, Toastmaster Ankit. Thank you. Thank you. It's time to cast your vote for the best table topic speaker. Timer can be here of the contender name, please. And as timer will call the name, please raise your hand so you can get maximum vote. Okay. Just tell the name so that we can vote. Uh, name or postmaster Santosh. Then Shivish. Yes, Nisha. Yes, Kalika. Again, and postmaster Tavya. Thank you so much. So please vote. One of them I have voted. Evidence is this, I have pen with me and this is written. So, by the time votes are being collected, I would like feedback for Tosmasa Raji from the guests because they have been invited. So, one C and one R for our table topic master's role. Any guests would like to add up something? Any commendation? Get please raise your hand. You have been on the stage just five minutes ago. You need to have some commendations, some recommendations. Kanika, yes, Kanika, would you like to give something? Some commendation? Or he was totally bad at it. <laughs> Anyone? Yeah, please. Yes, it's about Rajiv's role. I would say that he was more voice on and the pronunciation of what he understood uh, appropriately. And I think he knows his role and his responsibility to do pretty well in that terms. And um, <laughs> just one small question from my side. By the time when speakers were there, he was quite near to them, he would have been there. Guest or speaker would have felt. More comfortable with this. Our general evaluator is waiting. He has written so much. So many sheets are there. Please welcome him on the stage. So thank you. Well, you know what? It's for you to develop yourself. It's very important that you move into that realm of uh, observation and introspection. You all have those nights of going to the terrace sitting with a cup of coffee and then introspecting what you have done the whole day. Now, you know what? It really helps if there is a person who helps you in that approach of looking at yourself and maybe makes the job pretty easy. So I'm the guy who's going to evaluate your performance that you have come on this stage and put it in front of all of us and a evaluation of holistic, positive feedback to you guys so that you have a chart of progress and you therefore develop yourself in the future. So first, I would say that my segment is divided on three sections. The first being, I'll be calling upon the evaluator of the speeches on this. Second, moving forward to the battalion of the of the roadways we had today. And third, the overall holistic and comprehensive evaluation of the whole meeting at last. So without any further ado, let me bring on the stage the first evaluator of speaker Kanav. Evaluator one, Tim Raghav, on the very stage. So, good evening, everyone, once again. In the first or second week of July, I came to this Toastmasters club as guest, and I still remember Toastmaster Kanav gave his eyes record. And from that day to this day, I have seen how he has improved. He was very confident in the time I saw him for the first time. Coming to the commendations, although he forgot his con content, but still, he was confident. There was no sweat on his forehead that, 
for God. I forgot. It was not like that. He was comfortable. He just tried to recall his content, and he was not comfortable. And one thing I would say that he is the king of humor of our Toastmasters club. He is the chander of our club. It's a reference from the sitcom called Friends. Those who haven't watched it, I would say he's the Kapil Sharma of our club. Just to give you understanding. The thing was, he was quite clear. His voice, it's not like we are not getting what he's trying to say, but it was clear that what he's trying to say. So there's a scope of improvement in every speech. So here are some recommendations. Although he mentioned about that he got said that he speaks Hindi in his speech. Then I thought, why should I, why shouldn't I say this about this? But he, <laughs> I would say that use of Hindi is okay. But I would suggest that you could just translate that for the audience. But I would exhort that you should speak in English only. That way you will create uh, that. Uh, that way you will start building the habit of speaking in English. Next thing I would say that a little voice modulation would make a speech to a next level. For example, when he said that I get paid to speak, but I pay her to speak. He could have said that I get paid to speak, but I pay her to speak. That could have made a great change in his speech. Overall, the speech was well structured. I liked his speech. And one thing I would say that an element of practice is really important when we are delivering a speech. Then, sorry, it was an impromptu. Okay, that was not mentioned to me. Okay, that, that it was a great job done. And and the hand gestures were also done really amazingly. At the end, I would say all the best to the speaker for his future speeches. And I would say that he uses those recommendations in his future speeches. That's all from my side. Thank you. Well, thank you. It was a very positive and succinct report from TM Raji, uh, Raghav. Sorry. And bringing on the next evaluator of today's evening, the, the second speaker we had, Bhavanam Jha, and her, uh, her, his evaluator, none other than TM Puja on the stage for evaluating. Good evening, again, everyone. Uh, Toastmaster Bhavanam Jha gave his level one project four speech under the pathway presentation mastery. Well, uh, his speech objective, as I mentioned earlier also, was to learn from the feedback and apply them in a given effective speech. So the feedback that was given to him was to improve his vocal variety. And uh, last time he had ended his speech abruptly. So kudos to Toastmaster Bhavanam for, in fact, not just ending it abruptly, he ended very beautifully and also ended with a beautiful message. Uh, message like time and time waits for none, learn to prioritize your time. So I would like to give him a round of applause for uh, being able to make this speech. Uh, I felt the speaker, uh, speaker uh, did end the speech, as I said, uh, on a very positive note. Uh, the speaker started the speech by asking a question to our audience, uh, which is, uh, what is valuable for you? So uh, that was a great way to involve audience and start uh, engaging everyone and involve everyone. Uh, but I also felt that uh, there could have been a little structure, a little story around it instead of just a question answer thing. There could have been a little more uh, story that would have been a little engaging. Also, I felt uh, the speaker showed great confidence, gave very useful suggestions on how to manage time. Again, like prioritizing, not procrastinating. Uh, the speaker may want to work upon his vocal variety um, and voice modulation, especially when he gave the messages, he could have used a voice modulation, like uh, when he said that, uh, when he gave a message like time and tide waits for none, he could have uh, used his vocal variety by saying time and tide waits for none, like little more uh, vocal uh, variety there that could have to help uh, uh, like add some uh, modulation to his voice. Uh, my next challenge to the speaker is to work upon his pronunciations of sa and sha. I come there felt with mixing uh, like 
some i don't exactly i could not uh, make the note of the word but somewhere he had to say uh, show and he said sir and this has noted in his previous speeches also so he may want to work upon that overall i enjoyed the speech i love listening uh, to the speaker uh, it also worked as a reminder to me about how uh, valuable our time is and how much we take it for granted by wasting our time on mobile phone and instagram so it was a great reminder for me so overall thank you so much host master ramanand jao and uh, all the best for your future speeches over to the thank you so much it was pretty comprehensive report of what happened on the stage and how we presented his speech well again the next evaluator we have uh, tm uh, i forgot sorry tm diran so please do come on the stage and evaluate your set speech thank you thank you for giving the evaluation here and the evaluation report in the starting itself i noticed that our speaker presented a perfect example of a problem solution structure Our speak. I noticed that our speaker established the problem by a story, as well as by a clear introduction, and then he presented a the most viable solution that he had in the conclusion. Apart from this, I also noticed that our speaker had a really good. usage of vocal variety when he was demonstrating frustration in many other emotions etc it was vibrant dynamic and so they are fit and fluent as well as they read and also a good demonstration of expression apart from this however i have certain recommendation first speech first recommendation that i have is regarding the stage move i noticed that sometimes when telling about the parrot the speaker was stepping back so in public speaking art we have this thing that if we want to emphasize upon a point we take it step forward and if we want our audience to think about some point we take step back even in story so in this case i was i believe that a speaker wanted to emphasize upon a point regarding the parrot so maybe you could have practice the stage movement of moving your head not moving back apart from this the language i noticed the language was good but there was one mention of a word that was left fragmented i understand that was the demand of the story but in this case since we are in a parliamentary setting not exactly a parliament setting but where we have to follow parliamentary behavior so I, either the speaker can avoid using that word or moderate it that was a bad word not something like another word for that apart from this the speaker connected to the audience very well by asking answers humor as well as activity and apart from this there was good stage usage of entire area so all in all the speaker did a fine job by presenting a problem solution structure and accomplish his speech objective just by working upon stage movement i believe he can do a lot over to you We have pretty an analytical approach followed in while evaluating his speech. Now uh, we request everyone to please exercise their democratic right to vote for the best evaluator.
you all have access to the chat so please do vote and the moving forward my evaluation of the countdown of 5 4 3 2 1 so first of all we had the first evaluator cm raghav on the stage he was very cognizant about how to go forward with the evaluation process given the fact he had analysis through examples in his speech you know what is this analysis through example now i love the fact when he came on the stage surely in the introduction he mentioned the rose and everything and started with a nostalgic beginning of mentioning his first time when he came to the club and everything was a super way to start us and again acting in report he literally acted oh my god something like that and also an example and an analysis of how he mentioned that paid to speak that part of kind of speech he was giving an example and also uh, recommended me how he could have done that so that is a speech that is an evaluation we all look for so kudos to you on that for, the, for that particular aspect and the recommendation being very simple maybe moving around the uh, stage with some productive and intentional moves would have been your recommendation please have this thing. and the next evaluator being cm puja so she was pretty confident all role details well mentioned in the introduction the way of comparing the previous speech with this speech is something very commendable for any evaluator because until you compare the speech how will you come to the conclusion whether you have improved or not so therefore it was to you to and crc was well followed and the approach was done pretty good and recommendations being maybe act like him at certain point to show where he maybe didn't do so good and then act the way he could have done to show how it would have been look really good and uh, maybe point at bhavan and while you were on the stage for example if i am evaluating him kana i would have looked at him more often than the other people than the audience so maybe using hands like this looking in his eye would have been a great gesture to that and to move forward the evaluator uh, 3 cm dugan wide vision of audience while he was introducing he was looking at everyone including and more and at the end and while he was also introducing a speech in a very good way an analysis of the content is something that i found in his speech pretty good okay the way he was an analyzing the composition of the speech which is something lacks in many speeches usage of the speaking area was well done only recommendation me maybe not moving so fast so as to move out of the camera coverage that is some uh, recommendation for you so these are the chits for you guys and moving forward i will invite the battalion of auxiliary role players on the stage first being timer arun timer arun the stage is all yours it is that uh, time is money and most of the speakers or the role players they save the money except uh, toastmaster anmol toastmaster uday toastmaster kanav toastmaster bhavan and that is that is from my <laughs> It was a very uh, succinct, I would say, brief report. Well, moving forward with the language evaluator for this evening, language evaluator T M Ghanil on the stage. I would exhort you to please come on the stage. Language evaluator T M Ghanil. I charge for speaking. I pay here to speak. It was nice. It was hilarious. It was poetic. and uh, tm anko um, i was a goni for give forget what one wow uh, your words lot of vocabulary for that very beautiful one in collective in in vocabulary you and uh, tm that you uh, even quoted the words in the t-shirt 
Okay. So that was a quote in the T-shirt, and it is my role to sell the quotes also. Right. Burn your bridge. It is, even the topic was burn your bridge. Then a general evaluator, TM Rajit. Uh, it was a lot of uh, realm of observation and introspection, holistic and comprehensive cognition about a lot of words we just appreciate. <coughs> Uh, some issue with the uh, languages also, uh, pronunciation and those uh, using please, please, if. Um, okay, then uh, some not non Hindi also used, even though I have to mention it. That's it. Thank you so much. Now, coming forward to look in whether you were professional during the meetings or not, whether you actually follow the conduct of the meetings or not. So, bringing on, well, I would say, the marshal of today's evening, CM Saurav on the stage, the parliament of today's evening. Today we conducted a meeting, uh, or team only conducted in a, in a very innovative way where we all participated uh, and gave feedback. And the table topics of uh, team Rajiv was also very interesting. And uh, I think most of the rules that we mentioned in the beginning were upheld. Uh, I will give some points, some pointers which we can improve in. Maybe we can reduce our phone taking time during the meeting. Uh, that takes away some time uh, and that could have been given to our uh, speakers uh, who are here to. Get the attention. Uh, side talks may be avoided. I saw some people who had some side talks. And maybe in some of you had used Hindi words, maybe you can translate that uh, to English as well during the speech. That's all from my Thank you so much. Sorry for that. So uh, after that report, let's bring on someone who will look into whether we were listening throughout the meeting or not. Well, yeah, we look at the, yeah. Okay, goodies. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> What's the ever to look into whether uh, we were all ears to have the meeting or not? Bringing on the stage the lesson of today's evening. See, and now we are on the stage. Thank you so much. 
I'll probably make a lot of enemies today. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll try to cover this list as much as possible. So, starting with our first speech with Toastmaster Kanav said the word so 11 times, but three times, the filler sound are uh, one time and five big pauses. Toastmaster Bhavanan said the word so nine times, if six times. Toastmaster Digan said the word also three times and so two times. Toastmaster Angur used the uh, word right three times. Toastmaster Rajiv used the word 12 times. And you know one time. Toastmaster Santosh had used had used the had five uh, five filler uh, filler sounds uh, and five and five big pauses. Guest Shivkesh used the word so five times about now. Sorry, I didn't write it. Just, I was really busy. <laughs> Guest Nisha used the word uh, used the filler sound um three times. Guest Kanika used the filler sound uh two times and so three times. Toastmaster Kavya used the word so two times and Toastmaster Puja used the word um two times and uh, the filler sound uh five times and there's probably three more left including me but I'm probably not going to go on since we're at a time. Back to Janitra. Welcome to evaluation with humor. Uh, humor is not kind. I guess he is a criminal out there. Well, without any further ado, please do vote for the best auxiliary player you think who it was. To remind you of the names we had, we had Timer Arun, please do raise your hand. Uh, we had Language Word Dhanil, please do raise your hand. We had Parliamentary Sora, please do raise your hand. And we had Listener Nabia, please do raise your hand. Ending up with Accounter Anmol, please do raise your hand. And Joke Master Jidai on the virtual stage. So kindly to vote, and because this is a paucity of time, let me start with my evaluation itself. So Timer Arun, very short intro and great introduction on the time, and you're not wasting on uh, the team itself. All the details are well mentioned in the introduction itself. Only recommendation will be maybe not looking at the diary while you're reading it, and secondly, maybe a more detailed report would have been expected from you. Please do, uh, convey the chat. And language you were running, it was uh, one of the times when a word worthy of common day use was used that is exalted, which was something I believe is something most language writers forget to because in the in the case of bringing in very high sounding flurry words, we miss out using common day. Kudos to you on that. Uh, role here is well mentioned, great sense of humor while we were replying to him. And second edition will be maybe not consulting the notes on the stage. Maybe there were some uh, contentions on the stage where we are told that maybe using a, a note here would have helped as something like that, maybe hiding or something like that. But trust me, it doesn't help. It should not happen because the, because the role is pretty small. You've got to speak for two minutes. It's expected that you do not lose a chit. Mostly in cases of a speech, not in again contest. It's not supported though. But even if you are a newbie, you can use them for preparation and then they cannot give it up when you become an expert. And please do convey the chit to any panel. And the parliament is sort of, he had a very formal English while he was speaking throughout. So kudos to you on that because that actually shows your seriousness as a parliament, actually correlative to your role itself. And uh, great confidence, great, great detailed report. And maybe the only thing I will suggest you is to maybe use the speaking area like this uh, so that it looks more confident. And that's it. Please look at it. And the listener uh, of this evening, Nabia, great confidence, great presence, and great posture after so many days. We have seen her improve so, uh, you know, many, many folds. And the role details were well mentioned. The questions were pretty easy at the same time, interesting. Could also see on that. But the goodies were mentioned. Goodies were mentioned. <laughs> that was the recommendation. <laughs> Account on more. A great pinch of sense of humor. Why is there no applause at the beginning? And also, probably I'm going to make a lot of enemies. So it's a very important part, as he also mentioned, of a speech. So kudos to you on that. Uh, the details were well mentioned, except one, I guess, that can be uh, cut off. And not seeing sideways while uh, speaking. This is something we've got to understand. When we're speaking to someone, maybe not seeing uh, sideways to this extent when there was no one out there would have been better. Looking into the eyes of the audience and spreading your vision would have been really commendable. So this is for you. 
and as far as the joke part is concerned, uh, I really believe uh, you really had a great joke, but somehow the internet connectivity issues or the technical glitches maybe uh, your voice was not audible to that level. But surely, uh, I would say you maybe prepare more on looking into your sense of humor and also manage all the time management. A stand-up comic is great in comic because he knows when to put that beat of you know comic in in his speech. So time management is something you got to learn. A recommendation uh, on a very light light note, uh, maybe uh, lemon soda is great to come out of hangover. So you could have used that book on the stage. Okay, no one got the joke. Sure, surely. Okay, with all that being said, uh, this uh, should I cannot send you there. And to give you an overall uh, insight on how this meeting went, this meeting started on time. It was really commendable to Sajid Ram, who is very responsible and functional in this aspect, and a great smile. No comment or recommendations for you. President, as always, with great energy comes on the stage, great smile. Yes, rightly introduced, innovative take on the theme on how motivation may not be. Uh, taken up in a particular way. So his new take of motivation is very innovative in some sense. As far as the team mode is concerned, he comes up on the stage, involves the audience. In so many years, let me tell you, I have seen some kind of innovative team on the stage so as to give everybody a chance to speak. So kudos to him for that. And uh, as I always, the great audience manager was commendable. And for the GD, I would say, while he, while someone is speaking on the stage, please do not get the shit here and there and all that look very unprofessional. That's a recommendation for him because you know what? Self-criticism is the best way to self-improvement. With all that being said, let me call upon the stage, the team of today's evening, PM Ankit Sinha. Thank you so much for the visit. And I need one minute of yours to concentrate on me and give me your commendation and recommendations for today's work. Yeah, please. But first, shouldn't we give commendations and recommendations to me? <laughs> like you went, you went, uh, uh, I think I would like to commend him that he, the time was short, so he spoke like Shankar Mahadeva and he was there. At one point, actually, actually, he was here. That's the Thank you so much. Ritik is a gem in our club. Just one small suggestion is for him. Sometimes it looks little mechanical when he's on a stage, <laughs> and he needs to add little some you can say emotional touch when he when he is speaking on a particular topic. It doesn't look like we need to go rush so much. Just take a pause, a bit. So just some sensitivity is required in short of, otherwise, always well done. Take 40. <laughs> <laughs> I need your time to look at 44. <laughs> some more commendation, recommendation for me. Yeah, please. Yeah, it was a very really hard, hard reward. It was connecting everyone. Thank you so much. It was a commendation. Any uh, recommendations? From Mm. Yes, please. The recommendation was that when you asked audience for their feedback regarding recommendation or commendation, you could have a more specific recommendation, not just recommendation or commendation. Tell me about the commendation. A little bit straight up question. Commendation in Postmaster Ankit's speech. Like that, straight forward. Okay, just to save time, so that's why we are saying <laughs> it's okay. Just one C and one R more. I have got one commendation, one recommendation, just one commendation and one recommendation more. Yeah, one one recommendation is that you involve all of the guests and postmaster in the speech. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I think today we have seen the uh, maximum strength where I could also see people struggling to find an opportunity to speak. So you did a great job in terms of inviting everyone to give recommendation and recommendation. I mean, that was a good Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> my, my, you made my job easier. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's time to call our president because we are rushing late.
and he's looking at me and I'm calling him on the team. <laughs> What an amazing meeting we do have today without any further ado. Before announcing the winners of the meeting today, let us have the votes of the best roles here. Who do you think it was? Was it our Toastmaster, the Toastmaster Ankit, our general evaluated Toastmaster Vitae, or our table topic master, Toastmaster Rajiv? I would exhort everyone to vote. Otherwise, I would have to bend over backwards. This is a very tricky. Uh, Yes. While the votes are being cast, who do you think was the best speaker for the day? Was it Toastmaster Kana? Was it Toastmaster Bhavanam or was it Toastmaster Ankur? By going with the time and with the votes, the best speaker of the day was Toastmaster Ankur. <laughs> we are trying to save on paper. <laughs> That's why we are timely. Just kidding. We have given the orders. We are still waiting on the shipment to be received. <laughs> Who do you think was the best table topic speaker? Was it Toastmaster Santosh, Guest Shipki, Guest Nisha, Guest Kanika, Toastmaster Hede, or Toastmaster Kavit? Tavya? Any guesses? Yes, Kanika. It was those table topics. Uh, the best table topic speaker was Guest Shipki. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think was the best evaluator for the day? Was it Toastmaster Raga, Toastmaster Pooja, or Toastmaster Digan? Toastmaster Pooja. Toastmaster Digan. It was Toastmaster Pooja. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think was the best of the roles there? Was it our time with Toastmaster Adil, our language evaluator Toastmaster Sandin, our parliamentarian Toastmaster Saurabh, our listener Toastmaster Navya, our art counter Toastmaster Anmol, or are Joe's master toast master here on the whole system? It was indeed our listener for the day, Toast Master Navya. <laughs> Do we have the results for the best work here? Is that the result? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would request the guests to stay till the end for the guest briefing. For the guest you can also mention that we give certificates. Yes, we do generally give certificates to all the winners of our meeting. But since we are recycling on paper, yes, that is where we are not giving certificates. Who do you think was the best role player for the day? Our source master of the day, our general evaluator, or our debit of master? Any guesses? It was the most innovative role player to us. That being said, I now conclude the meeting. I request everyone to come on the seat for a group picture. <laughs>